it was the announcement that left the Broome art community in shock. The judge of the Shinju Matsuri Aboriginal Art Prize thought none of the entries was worthy of winning. It was an insultive type comment and uh, everyone was quite emotional and, and uh, annoyed. Others shrugged it off. They tell the opinion but, you know, they were a bunch of my... My shoulders. As news spread, artists from other categories started a boycott and removed their paintings from the walls. I feel that this is so outrageous that it needs artists to step up to the bar and kick up some dust, which is what art is all about. But the judge, Perpetua Durack Clancy, is standing by her decision. It's time that there's, there is a bit of open debate and, and discussion about, about quality and, and ideas and innovation and and so on. So, so to this extent, it's, I, I welcome what's happened, even though it's, it's taken a bit of a toll already. The reaction's been particularly sharp because of the art dealer's own history. She and her family are no strangers to controversy. In the 1990s, Perpetua Durack Clancy ran the Durack Fine Art Gallery, selling dot paintings by an artist known as Eddie Burrup. It later emerged Mr Burrup was the alter ego of Perpetua's mother, Elizabeth Durack. The organisers have upheld the decision but will be reviewing the rules for next year. Natalie Jones, ABC News, Broome.